Hi, today I am going to be looking at the Rank Fortress Advanced Local Schema plugin. Now, I use this on all of my websites, and I have to say it has given me some really great results. Um, schema helps Google to understand what your website is about, and um, it just gives a lot of information. Basic Schema is always beneficial but when you go into the advanced schema you get a lot more bang for your buck. Now this website you can buy from William Jones or rankfortress.com. If you become a member of his training you do get it for a much 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 better price and he also does um, random sales and things like that so I did not pay anything close to what it is at the moment. Um, but I would say if you can get it at a great price, then absolutely do it. So I'm going to step you through the type of information that you need to um, get it going and why it is so advanced compared to just a typical um, schema generator plugin that, you know, is out there like Yoast or Rank Math and why this absolutely, absolutely would um, change how your schema works. So this is a basic plugin. So it is a zip file which you upload. Um, you do need a license. As you can see, there's part of my license. I have an unlimited license that never expires. So that this means I can use it on all my client sites, which is awesome because this is part of um, helping my clients to rank better in a Google search and schema is all part of that. So let's go and see what is actually needed to get this going. So it asks all sorts of things like um, the main categories. So this is where you can come through and find, you know, what category you are. So a lot of my clients are in um, the construction or trade business. So um, you pick the best one for you. I am just going to pick home and construction business. Ask you for the business name. The owner's name is not needed. The image URL, the slogan, so that's your tagline. The description, I usually grab the first couple of paragraphs on the home page. Um, disambiguating description. So this is basically a very short and sweet type of description. I usually just use a slogan for this. The primary location. So this really helps if you, um, of course, have a Google My Business. Street address, city, town, zip code. Phone number on the website and a contact email. Now, I do a lot of rank and rent websites, so um, my sites don't have an email as such, so I just make one up. The Wikipedia entry. Now, on the first um, release of this plugin, this was a real um, sticking point. Um, it just it didn't work and it never loaded. So the Wikipedia entry is where you go to Wikipedia, you find what it is that the business is and actually link to it. So this is a um, plugin that's going in for um, a plasterer. Now in Australia, um, we call them plasterers, but in the States, you would call them drywall. So um, I will go and find the Wikipedia entry that describes a drywall um, installer, but I do know for a fact that in Wikipedia, there isn't such term and I will have to use the term um, contractor to go into this Wikipedia entry. Privacy policy page, the keywords. So I use mangles for my tracking. So I just get the mangle um, from mangles, my keywords that I'm tracking, and then the backlinks and citations. So if you've um, just sent off for a list of citations, you can copy them off the Excel spreadsheet. And again, I use Mangles, so I can just quickly um, copy the backlinks that I have and add them. The FAQ page. Now, I have found that this doesn't always work, so I usually don't add it. The About Us page, Contact page, the Service pages. So most of my websites have either four or six service pages. 
the service area pages. Now, because I use the location plugin that William puts out, I can actually put every service page or location page that I have created. And then also your blog posts. So it's pulling in an absolute, an amazing amount of information. So let's get started. So I open up um, the website that I'm working from in a different page so I can just click back and forwards um, to that page. So let's get going. So the image URL, um, this is just grabbing an image. Now this is a slider up here. Oh, yep, I can grab that one. So you would either grab, um, you know, a, a logo or something like that. Here's my slogan here. My description. Now, some people might decide that they want to use... Um, unique um, content so you might sort of put it through Quillbot or Jarvis just to get it um, yeah unique I just quickly just grab what I need I'm just getting the location here And you can see that it, it, you know, makes sense what they're asking for. Always try and use what's, um, you know, what's on the website or the Google My Business. So the Wikipedia entry, this is where I'll go to Wikipedia and do a search. So as you can see, drywall contractor doesn't exist. So this is where I will just look for um, drywall, only because I know that um, plasterer comes up as, um, yeah. All right, so this is all about drywall. You can see that it describes everything about the actual plasterboards, but it doesn't actually say what a... Um, it doesn't actually have anything about the um, the business that would install it. So you can see here in Australia and New Zealand that it's also called um, plasterboard or gyp rock as well. Construction. Okay. Oh, there is actually a term here called drywallers, a drywall mechanic. All right, I'll actually use that. I've never seen that term before. Usually I just find um, contractor. Oh. All right, so this is what happens. You put this in here, the Wikipedia entry, and then you have to validate it, and it will um, tell you whether that um, if this term is, it is. So this is a valid um, category in Wikipedia. So privacy page, it, I don't need it. The keywords, let me go to um, mangles and actually get them.
Okay, so I have gone into Mangles. I have copied all the keywords that this site's ranking for. I've also gone into Mangles and um, copied um, the backlinks. So this is what I do in Mangles. It's really, really easy. I find the website, look at the backlinks, and then just press um, copy the clipboard, and it's copy and paste. It's so, so easy. All right, so back to um, entering the details. So the FAQ page, as I've said, um, it doesn't always work, so I, I often don't worry about it. The About page, so let's copy that in. So in this case, it's who we are. And save. Contact page. Service pages. So, you know, we go, we pack our websites with an absolute heap of content and then we also say what it is. So one thing that we try and um, do is, you know, give Google what it wants. Commercial plastering is an absolute keyword. So instead of just saying, you know, commercial residential, you know, we actually say commercial plastering, industrial plastering, residential plastering. So we actually call all our service pages an actual, you know, keyword that people would be looking for. So I'm just going to pause this here so I can continue um, filling all this out and then I'll start it again when I get to the next one. Okay, so you can see that I've added all the different service pages. Um, now we're going to go into the location pages. So when I first looked at this, I went, holy crap, look how much information I've actually got to put in, but I don't. I don't have to put in a street address or the phone number, the email, um, I do, but I do need to put in the um, some of it. So this is um, the location pages that we've built. So it's, an, it's a pretty much an exact copy of the home page. We've just used the main um, suburb as, you know, as the heading in every heading and then down here we have the list of other neighborhoods info about the suburb um, again linked to surrounding neighborhoods and then this is the location um, plugin that rank fortress also does it's pulling in the different google locations around here we do have one more thing to finish off here and that's a driving instruction map so that we're doing in driving instructions from this suburb back to the GMB um, address of this business. So I'll enter one in to show you how it looks and then I will um, pause it and then just keep going. Don't need that, don't need that. And then zip code for this area, 4054. Oh. Okay, so that's how you add the service locations. So I'm going to pause and quickly fill this in. Okay, so I have filled in all the different location pages. And now the next part is blog posts. So you might decide to only do the last couple um, or you might decide to do every blog article that you have actually done. Now, this site has only got four blog articles. So I will show you what I have done. I'll only choose the two strongest ones. Um, previous um, SEO company sort of put up some really um, quite some average looking um, articles so I don't need author or genre I do need a date 
It was done on December the 4th. There we go. Um, thumbnail image, you don't have to do it, but um, it helps. Headline. And then you can actually just copy, the images won't go into it, but you can actually copy the content in here. So you can see that we do um, really well structured blog articles of at least a thousand words. We also embed maps and all sorts of things into our blog articles as well. All right, so that's what the blog article will then look like. I'm going to add one more and then I will activate the schema and show you. Okay, so I've added two blog articles um, to this. Now I'm going to activate the schema. And there we go. Everything is now um, basically loaded in as schema. I've never really gone in and, and had a look at this, but this is where you can go in and um, edit everything that you've done. Um, so yeah, so that is how to use the Rank Fortress schema tool. I, as I've said, I have seen some really um, massive boosts in um, my pages rankings when I've added this about four weeks later all of a sudden bang it will take off thank you for watching